Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Guys, yeah. we're back. It's been a long time, but we're back with a new look. Yes, new look. Better software, hopefully. Yes. We're feeling like it is. Um, but yeah, so we've been, you know, we get your feedback, right? Um, our previous season or full year of videos that we did, um, we listened to what you guys said. We weren't always able to correct it then, so yeah. we took a little break, sort of revamped some things, and now hopefully the sound and everything that you guys were expecting will be there, and that's what we're looking for. So um, outside of that, we've got a beer. Yes. And a video. A local beer and a faraway video. All right, so uh, Eleven Lakes Brewing, and you guys can see it right up there. Right. And it's a Lazy River IPA, which I'm about ready to go you're ready down a lazy river. Yeah, oh no, yeah. I'm I'm ready to go tubing down a lazy river. That's what oh, I want to do. Okay. It's freaking hot as balls in North Carolina. Oh yeah. I well, mean it's hot as balls everywhere. everywhere so <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, so um and then we have a video. Yes, we have Bandmade. The song is called Shambles. This is the official wow. music video. One of my favorites. All right, we'll be right back. Crack open that beverage. Have you ever been like really sh like straight up punched in the chest full power? Sure. Who did it? Do you remember? I don't remember. You don't remember? No. Yeah. It, was it one of those times where you're like, because I could, people could punch me straight in the face and I could take it better than I, like when I was a kid, I had like nothing here. It was just sternum. So a guy punched me so hard in the chest, I thought my... It, like he pushed my spine out of my like completely out of my body it was awful sounds bad and don't know where that's completely unrelated have i no was idea. gonna say have you ever woken up at the age of 50 but you're not quite there yet but have <laughs> no, you I ever have not. woken up at the age of 50 and felt a little tight here and then you go Ka -ka, and your sternum cracks and you're like actually ah. i've already had that yeah that's that's, that's much better <laughs> yeah or you just do one of those things where you stretch in the bed and you're like oh and you'll suddenly go <laughs> And you feel like a wheel fell like off or something. You're like, I, I don't have the power. I, I, don't, I don't have wheels. What the hell just happened to me? <laughs> uh, oh, good God Almighty. Age. Yes, it's beautiful. We all, all right. break down over time. So, all right. So this is two nice amber, previously a pale ale. Now this IPA. It, I mean, yes, it looks like the, very the West Coast uh, uh, style ale. ale. Yeah. The, but the smell is Let's different. See. It's much more piney. The other one had more Ooh, of a yeah. toasted oat or malts mm. type of so, scent. Let's let's uh, eleven lakes. So this will be our first eleven lakes that we've had on here. Really? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yes. Six point seven percent alcohol. Uh, they're doing Columbus and Amarillo. Oh, okay. And so you're getting those. Yeah, it's you know like citra hops and mosaic hops and you get you, you dank and stank with some you know all the montaluesca and all those different hops um so this one's gonna be a little bit more citrusy but a heavy pine i mean a very heavy pine on the nose but honestly not that i'm gonna use the word offensive because to me when i get hit by pine on the it's, taste buds, I'm not cascade. happy. But this is... Columbus and Amarillo. It doesn't come off as piney on the tongue. I know that Amarillo always gives you that little dinky. It's got a little bit of that. To mine? Yeah. yeah. So... It's given some different flavors than what people are doing now with a lot of them. Like, uh, citra hops are so popular that it's right. almost like to the point where you're like, guys, come on, give us something else. Um... Which a few are. I'm not saying everybody, but this one, it's very different. It is very different. In, almost, in a good way for me. It almost comes off like almost like a rosemary type of flavor to it. Mm. Like, you know, when you get, um, say, like grilled chicken and somebody grills the chicken with rosemary on it and it comes off kind of like. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of because it almost gets bitter, especially if it's on a grill. That's what I'm picking up in here. And you do get a bitter bitter aftertaste with this yeah it, it's slight though i mean compared to some of the ipas we've had this mm -hmm. is this is pretty tame what? there's something else in this though it reminds me of like going to a spice shop and i can't really put yeah. my finger on it it's not cardamom but it's something like that yeah really slight 
What the hell is that? Do they have anything else in here? Ugh. What? Nothing. We'll they, te they tell us nothing. It's a brewer's secret. So, anyway. But there's definitely something else in there that's giving it kind of like... What's the best? I, I don't know if it's... I I'd say an ethnic character. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like almost like a Moroccan type of hint of something or yeah, there's something. I don't know it's something in there but it's it's different um, and I'm, I'm enjoying it so uh, while we uh, sip on this we are actually going to go over to our video now and it's band made shambles so while we were on our little hiatus they came out with a new video and of course we were working on all this crap and didn't of have course, a chance to yes. hit it right away but now we're back and we love band made so let's get into it all right Sorry, the freaking kick drum. Yeah, oh I was, my! I was paying it. God, it stands out. Oh my god! But that opening. Wow, it's muffled. It's it's it hits hard. Yeah, it's cool. Misa is ridiculous. I mean, like, really, truly off the charts. What about it? The bass, like, the bass line there where mm -hmm. it just drops and it's like, boom, boom, yes, boom, yes. boom, yeah. boom, 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 Just love every, every part of the song so far. Um, it's It reminds me a little bit more of, like, alternative leaning, like uh, the grunge style, a lot of um, open chords and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but really good. Really well and, and it's pretty relentless. Um, yeah. The lyrics, though, they have a, a lot of their lyrical content is similar. Like, kind of that you can do it, move yeah. onward, yep. and overcome. I mean, same thing going on here. Uh, yeah, and I'm trying to, I'm, like, wondering, I'm, like, reading into it, like, even this, like, hold firm onward to the borderlands. Like, is it, where, where are they going? You know what I mean? Like, what are the borderlands in this? Probably hmm. edges of one's ability or yeah or like pushing the or, boundaries yeah yeah, yeah yeah makes sense definitely crunchy yeah back the tone of her bass wow Yeah. 
So let's say that guitar solo was kind of grungy too. But, yeah. Uh, as far as it wasn't overdone. No. Like, and that's the way she does a lot. Yeah. It, like she plays within the song, right. which I like. Yeah. But you listen to some of their other stuff, like so the their main like, uh, like videos and stuff like that. I mean, there's a few that she shreds in, but other ones like that are B sides and on the like full albums. Right. Like she goes nuts. It's you're like okay, you can you can go. You go. She's a shredder. Mm-hmm. Love it. Um, but yeah, like this. I mean, it's it's a band made song. But um, yeah. I just love how driving this one is, and in the way Misa was like the guitar solo, Misa is basically playing a bass solo behind the guitar solo right. the whole time. It's like the whole way through. I love that bass sound. Kind of crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Wow. Still a, a short song. We've heard two short songs. I mean, that's standard. Yeah, S- it's three minutes. Length, but, but I wouldn't have minded if it had gone a little Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, that's the thing. I think, uh, like, that little moment they had at the break, and, of course, we paused right at it, and I should have mm-hmm. rewind, but um, that little bridge portion, I think they could have carried it out a little bit more. And right. but But, look, 3.30, radio play, pop songs that's where you're going to be in there of course they want to be radio played so they're yeah. going to be right in there so but awesome song like yeah akane's kick on this is just stupid 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 she has to be, she's definitely my she may be one of my favorite drummers right now like when i say favorite i mean top three really doesn't matter, guys, women, doesn't doesn't matter. She just She's good. Is she stands awesome. out. Yeah, she just and, can hit so hard. And the basis, I mean. Misa. Misa. Oh, my God. She, she stands out, too. Both of them. Yeah. The rhythm section. The rhythm really section stands out. is just phenomenal. I mean, Konami is awesome. I mean, they're, they're all really, they're all really good, good at what yeah. they do. So that's the reason why they've been around forever, and they've slowly built up this fandom around them um, that is not going to go anywhere so yeah. it's because they're so consistent it's great I mean, awesome there's you saw them here in charlotte yep tickets were sold out before i got them but mm-hmm. uh just the fact that they are coming to charlotte and playing i mean they played a club but their bands way bigger than them yeah that can't sell out the club no much, no 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 so. nope and don't yeah. and still won't but they they around here they'll they'll keep on building and i know they'll they'll be around for a while and i know they're they just came back and they played like a, a festival up in virginia okay uh, and then they played somewhere else just recently so i'm gonna have to cool. um, i have to look it up but we're catching up on youtube stuff so all right yep. all right so get back to the beer 11 lakes yes. uh lazy river ipa well i'm sitting i've been sitting here sipping on this thing the whole time and mm-hmm. you know me uh i'm not a fan of ipas but this is a different ipa mm-hmm this doesn't hit me with the thing with the other IPA. I guess there's Citra IPA or hops. It really depends, but definitely Citra will hit you pretty yeah. hard. Um, I just don't like the IPA that just like coats the whole inside of your mouth with yeah. pine. And this does not do that. Yeah. It has a nice little aftertaste. It's nothing. It's different. I still can't yeah, put my finger on it, it but it definitely has like a, like I said, like a, almost like a ethnic spice, something that, you know, Something I'm not that, used to having all the time. Something that Whitey here can't identify. Nope. Um, it's, uh, it's on I the tip agree. of my tongue, but I can't figure it out. There's can't something. Can't pull it out of there. There's something. Um, Maybe coriander. Bro, I could see that. Could be. Yeah. Excuse yeah. my burp. But either um, way. I will give this. I got to go first because this is mm-hmm. going to be my unfiltered, unadulterated. 
IPA review. review. Yes, official. Uh, I'd give this a 3.4. 3.4? Yeah. That's a great good. IPA score for And I'm going to put you. more in my glass. So there yeah, look at that. That's even more. So 11 Lakes, that, that was uh, that's probably the best... Because I don't think I've ever seen an IPA go a second time into professor's class. So, no, never. Um, but anyway, so I am going to go with this one. Um, probably, I'm going to go three five, three five leading to three six. But I'm, I'm thinking okay. three five is a good place to put them. Um, it's a really good rounded beer, very well brewed, has a different flavor profile. Not my favorite pro- profile, but. It's well done for what it is. Of course um, not. I mean, if I like it, but how could you like it? I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. But uh, as far as IPAs go, I do like the Dank and Stank. Right. This is a lot less that. So if yeah. you are a person that's adverse to the Dank and Stank, this is for you. Awesome. So yep. other than that, I think that's it for today. That's it. We made two new videos, guys. And we need to tell you about our sponsor. Wait. Down there. Bavana. Bavana. They will deliver brews to you. Yes. Uh, craft brews specifically. Yes. And if you scroll down in the description, you get a code for 10% off your first order. Oh, my God. What else is there to say? Why would you use that? 10% yeah. off. I mean, come on. Come on, people. Um, anyway, so uh, other than that, if you go down to the description, you're going to see a link to the band made video for Shambles. Right. And you're going to see a link to Eleven Lakes Brewing. That way you can go and check out this beer and other beers that they have. You'll also see a link for hmm, merch. Merch. Yes. Yeah, stuff for that we are selling. We're going to have some yeah. new uh, designs coming out. A uh, new little logo thing that we're doing. So that will be coming very soon. Yes. Uh, other than that, that's all we got. Make nice. sure you click your little subscription thing and hit the bell and what all that kind all of All that crap. stuff. Yeah. So I just want to say to everyone, cheers. Cheers. We'll see you. Later.